Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Less than a week after House Democrats launched a formal impeachment inquiry of Donald Trump, a report surfacing Monday saying Trump pressed the Australian Prime Minister on the phone to assist U.S. Attorney General William Barr in an effort to discredit the Mueller inquiry. According to the New York Times, the White House restricted access to the transcript of the call, an unusual decision similar to the handling of a Ukraine call at the heart of the impeachment inquiry. The conversation with Australia's PM Scott Morrison, the Times reports, happened weeks after the controversial call with Ukraine's president on July 25th. A whistleblower complaint about Trump's Ukraine call accuses Trump of using the power of his office to solicit interference from a foreign country in the U.S. 2020 election. When you have a whistleblower that reports things that were incorrect, as you know, and you probably now have figured it out, uh, the statement I made to the president of Ukraine, a good man, a nice man, knew, uh, was perfect. Trump slamming the whistleblower, even though a summary of his Ukraine call released by the White House corroborates details in the complaint. In the summary, Trump asked the Ukrainian leader to investigate Trump's top Democratic rival, Joe Biden, and Biden's son, who'd worked for a Ukrainian energy firm. There's no evidence the Bidens acted improperly. Mr. President, do you now know who the whistleblower is, sir? Well, we're trying to find out about a whistleblower. The whistleblower's identity has not been made public. On Sunday, Trump tweeting in part, like every American, I deserve to meet my accuser. On Sunday, the Democrat leading the House impeachment inquiry, Adam Schiff, saying he expects the whistleblower to appear before the House panel very soon, following negotiations on how to preserve his or her anonymity and security. Over the weekend, a lawyer representing the whistleblower sent a letter to the acting director of U.S. national intelligence, citing remarks Trump made Wednesday, calling the whistleblower close to a spy and alluding to the death penalty. The letter goes on to say the events of the past week have heightened our concern that our client's identity will be disclosed publicly and that as a result, our client will be put in harm's way. And an update from the lawyer on Twitter posting in part, the whistleblower is entitled to anonymity. Law and policy support this and the individual is not to be retaliated against. Doing so is a violation of federal law.